A mother reached out to CBS4 for help after furry, four-legged guests took up residence in the backyard. Yeah, they're a family of bobcats, including kittens. Tori Mason joins us live now in Arvada. And Tori, she isn't sure what she's supposed to do with this family of cats. Well, guys, it's actually five. Uh, Colorado Parks and Wildlife say that bobcats in our urban areas are becoming more and more prevalent. If you have a reliable food source like rabbits and a lot of vegetation, it's not unusual for them to move into your backyard. But the homeowner I spoke to finds it unusual that she can't find any assistance getting them out. They play with each other, they play with the mama, but these aren't regular kittens. They're learning to hunt. Jesse Curtis has had five bobcats in her Arvada backyard for days, and she's struggling to get them relocated. Animal control came, they acknowledged them, took some pictures. Animal control promised to keep an eye on the situation, but told Curtis they would file a report with the Division of Wildlife. Bobcats in our urban areas in the Denver metro area are becoming more and more prevalent, whether it's Arvada, it's Littleton, um, anywhere kind of along this foothills corridor. However, when Curtis called CPW to relocate the Bobcats, they referred her back to animal control, calling them a nuisance animal. We just don't have the personnel to respond to every single wildlife call that we get. And some of our smaller game animals necessarily don't always take all the priority. In a case like this, Clay says CPW would recommend the homeowner hazes the bobcats away. Air horn, loud noises, try to get them out of there. Uh, you could put ammonia soaked rags around the vicinity as a smell deterrent to try to keep them from coming back. Once you have them out safely without putting yourself in, in any harm way, close off that area very securely so they can't come back in. No one goes into the backyard to try and see what would happen because obviously it's a mama who would be defensive against her, her, her babies. I just feel like I really want to have them relocated safely. Now, CPW says concerned homeowners can always call for more information and resources, but it's unlikely that they're going to be able to help relocate those bobcats from Curtis's backyard. CPW says there's some responsibility that comes with being a homeowner, and at times they'll recommend people to pest control companies that deal with those smaller nuisance animals for homeowners that don't feel comfortable having them around. Right now, Curtis still isn't sure how she's going to relocate these bobcats. Reporting in Denver, I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. All right, Tori. And a Colorado.